Hello everybody, welcome to my round two Blitz Pit qualifier match. I got a buy in the first round because my opponent who was meant to play did not turn up. I don't know why, but he wasn't able to make it. Um, as you can see, we've got 1220 TV here. Uh, tier one. Oh, no, they're all, are they all the same tier? I don't know. Undead anyway. <laughs> um, sure hands, block, block, wrestle on the ghouls. A tackler and a guarder on the whites. Three rerolls, three fan factor. Um, we'll find out if there were different tiers. No, I guess there weren't. <laughs> Why is he 1070? He might be Ross. Oh, because 50 of it's 50 of it's the money. Okay, so yeah, so it goes up to two because he's got Eldril. He's got 200 for Eldril, but 50 of it's money. So yeah, it's it's 1220 as well. So he's got Eldril. So he's basically all in on Eldril. Eldril gives him the 12 men. He's only got one reroll, no Apo. So he could definitely get everybody killed in this game. He's got a couple of wrestlers, uh, a couple of dodgers, a kicker. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Uh, doing the commentary is Gorilla Mezzo, presumably. It could be Skuro Mezzo. I, he's dressed like Gorilla Mezzo on the picture anyway. And uh, Squirrel Dude, I will let them take over so I can concentrate because there's only one minute turns. So, choose. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, whether I am Gorilla or Skuro is dependent on how exciting this game gets. I'll go into Gorilla mode if it's exciting and for the start. But, uh, Jim, thanks for having me and Squirrel here. Squirrel, say hello. Yep. Nailed it. All right. Yep. So we've got a rostered Eldrill Pro Elves. Jim just watched his uh, first round game. He had a – Jim in this first round of Blitz Pit had one of the biggest, uh, most epic triumphs to get to round two of getting that first round by – that's exactly how you want to do it in Blood Bowl. Not have to play and advance in bracket uh, elimination tournaments. So well done on turn one, Jim. And now we just we just watched these uh, high or excuse me these pro elves go through an overtime game and have to go all the way through grueling kicks to get the win over some dwarves. Are they going to be feeling the effects of that? Probably not because it's res and none of that matters. But here we go. Uh, Eldrill is on the board, and the and the uh, the elves have won the toss, and they have opted to kick. Makes sense. I look forward to how many times my replay is going to freeze during Blitz Pit. Actually, it's pretty easy to tell in Blitz Pit because if they don't move in the first five seconds of their turns, it generally means my replay has frozen. So we've got on the pro elves two blodge blitzers, two wrestle catchers, a kick lineman, a leader thrower, and the big fancy boy himself, Eldril Sidewinder. And on the undead team, we've got a guard white, a tackle white, which is very useful in this matchup, a wrestle ghoul, two more block ghouls, and a sure hand ghoul. There's nothing on the mummies, though the lack of guard the mummies is not going to be a problem in this matchup. They're just going to roll three dbs anyway, and the couple blodgers will actually be a little tricky for the um. Pro Elf team to deal with because they don't have any tackle. So they can get some wrestles to get them down, but they aren't going to actually be able to really attrition the ghouls very, very well this game. Absolutely. And I am a guy, I'm a I'm the kind of guy who likes to see a nice wide variety of uh team uh team builds and entrance in these kind of tournaments. I hate when it's all just the same team with two different builds. So I gotta respect the uh choice for the pro elves. I like the idea of bringing Eldrill in. Sounds fun, but uh that's not what I would have picked. Um, I think uh, most of us watching this game right now would probably want to be the undead for this matchup. Squirrel, do you agree or disagree there? Um, I am more, I am far more comfortable having played zero games with pro elves than I am far many, many, many games with the undead. So I pick undead even if they were the worst matchup because I'm more familiar playing with them. Um, and at low team value, I'm going to pick undead probably anyway. So yeah, I'm not going to say undead because uh, 3DBs with Mighty Blue are pretty nice against armor value 7 teams that have no defensive skills. Yeah, especially with all these pushes he's rolling right now, really getting oh. to leverage all of that strength in those 3Ds. Yep. <laughs> Jim's got to feel pretty good about that. Oh, wait, no, that's actually, uh, he got him. <laughs> Classic Mighty Pushes. Yep.
And uh, I'd be a little nervous about nothing on that ball there. But uh, for some reason, Varkson put everyone heavy on the left. Like shades of the uh, the classic Jimmy, I'm not engaging you for my defense. Uh, uh, at best seen in his Rebel games where he just doesn't want to lose his team. But I can't imagine that's what's about to happen here. So very curious uh, kind of stacking up of players over there on the uh, on the left side. Let's see how aggressive Varkson's feeling in this game, though. It's probably fine. I don't... Eldril makes all of us a little bit weird, but I don't see an easy way for him to immediately capitalize. And again, you know, he has yeah. no... He has no this dodge isn't so great protection, but he doesn't have a block on it, but it's still going to be a bit... It's going to be safer than the uh, Dwarf Runner was in uh, Varkson's previous game, where it was a 50-50 chance to get the Dwarf Runner down every time. Yeah, and it looks like what we're going to get here is the, uh, the uh, traditional elf columns. Looks like he's going to stack up here. Oh, maybe he's going to spread himself out a little bit more than that. Probably a bit wise. It looks like at uh, with what he's going with now, we'll see what he does with these guys on the on the LOS right now, but uh, or formerly on the LOS, but uh, not allowing mighty blow to hit into more mighty blow is a good start. What? Whoa! What was that? I don't know why that's a one D taking place. Oh and, my goodness! Uh... And there is no apple on the board for this team because of this build. And there you go, just like that. Jim is laughing. That was all sorts of crazy to me. I don't... Like you, there's no reason that couldn't have been a two D at all. No, I mean, I, maybe that's just one of those things where it's blitz pit. You fail to recognize you need to have an assist. You yeah. kind of just let us to the last turn, so you take the make it a one a one DB. You're like, it's fine. I'll just take the I'll take this take the attacker down. What could go wrong? And now your player is dead in the undead of a free spare. Yeah. So like maybe he thought maybe he thought his kicker was in base, but that I mean very clearly isn't. I don't know you if know? Jim will, but I think he should take this as a sign that he can go ahead and go for a um easy foul at some point here as well because he's got two spare players now. It'll be very hard for him to get out of um to where he's oh, actually below the players throughout the rest of this game. So I think it's gonna be very worthwhile oh, now for him to go on to easy foul like maybe on um Kickman or on a Fablodger if he gets it down. I definitely agree with that. Jim is pretty foul averse, but uh, he does make good fouls when he needs to make them. Oh, and just just slashing like the, already the defense is just has pretty much just ended. I mean, Eldril's on the board, so you never know. But that's yeah. a hell of a start for Jim. It's elves. It's Eldril. It's never going to be um, totally locked up. He's going to have to play it safe from here out. But it's being up three players against elves is really good. Um, mind you, he's only up like he's up one good player and two terrible linemen. One of them has already used his skill, so there's not much left for him to do. So it's not. Huge removals. It just means that there's going to be a lot less chaff protecting the elves' key players from here on out. Yeah, there's but there's basically nothing to stop stop that ghoul from scoring, <laughs> other than Eldril right now. Um, yeah, it, it's still going to be. It's going to require dice, but the elves can always get yep. dice. So. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. But the 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 flip side of that is true. Is like Varkson has to kind of look at this already and be like. Do I really want to give up a bunch of hits for a chance at the ball at this point, or do I just want to try and <laughs> tie this game, or or maybe get my one turn in, survive enough for a one turn, and win it in regular time? You know, uh, kiss it, and he usually sits at his desk wearing some sort of uh, skirt or dress to, for uh, coolness. So I would argue that uh, were he wearing that, and you were counting it as pants, it no longer would because his erection would have pushed it well off of his hips. The important uh, analysis that I bring to the table in Blood Bowl commentary. Un unparalleled. Won't get it anywhere else. <laughs> A moo -moo dress. <laughs> it's like that episode of The Simpsons. 
Oh, geez, and not much going right for Varks and uh, self-inflicted wounds, if you ask me, uh, from that early blitz. But, uh, yeah, Jim is just going to uh, be able to tee off on an alpha turn right now. This is the danger of pro elves. They can just collapse, and this is the strength of undead, Certainly. is even if you're playing, like, a mediocre game, they can just dice you to a win. Like, Absolutely. they're very few... They, they can do it reliably, too. There are very few teams that are as good as undead at low team value that have the ability to just roll casualty dice and win. Um, ogres are Jim, ogres can do it, but ogres are terrible. So Jim does have a 3D into a 3D on offer here. He's just making sure that ball is super protected because uh, if anyone can roll hexaskulls in an elimination tournament, it's probably Jim. Oh, he's doing it that way. Interesting. I thought I would have. I guess he didn't. Didn't matter. I thought I, would... I thought he was going to hit with the other mummy and hit that guy away from the ball side. But he got the knockdown anyway. Got the uh, stun. Yeah, it looks like Jim was doing this so that he could get um, a 3D into a second 3DB. That's probably why. Yeah, he no, that's what I thought. It... That's what I was thinking he'd do too. But I thought he'd do it with the other mummy. Ah, uh, yeah. And get the mummy into the center on the push. Exactly. I guess this now lets the mummy go and... Okay, I want to have gone and... Yeah, there you go. The, that mummy gets to go and tag the catcher, which is pretty nice. To start threatening the catcher with, like, you need to, you need to do things. You can't just stand here. Alright, and now Varkson having to think about what he wants to do here. I hope. Or my... Or, or I've frozen. We'll find out. Oh, wow. He was waiting to 18 seconds left before he makes his move. And he's going for it right now. This looks like he can get a 1 DB with some dodging, so... Yep. And he'll have it with Wrestle, so not the worst not the worst shot, no, to be totally completely fine. honest. It's a yeah, it's a good shot. 1-3 three, three shot. The Wrestle, unfortunately, is a bad result, probably, unless you get a favorable scatter. It's very yeah. often going to be a very bad result, so it's really kind of 1-6. Here it um, comes. But... It doesn't get him. Does he re-roll? He does re-roll into another push. Good effort, yeah. though. It's about as good yeah, an effort the... as you're going to get. I mean, with a POW, he had a chance for it to be in just one tackle zone, though he only had, he had a blodger for recovery, though, again, Jim has yeah. tackled this game, so... All right, but now he does have a sidestepper on that ghoul there. That could be a, a little problematic for Jim here. But the reverse is Jim now, under very, very little rush at this stage, has a lot of hits on some elves, could really clear the board. Hello, um, Tom Schniz. Welcome aboard. Unless I'm misreading it, it looks like it's a very simple clearance for Jim here to yeah. get the um, sidestepper off the ball. I don't Absolutely. know how easy it is to do that while also forming a cage. Um, though if you just need to get him off the ball, it's pretty simple. But yeah, here you go. Elves are going to make it complicated because that's all they can do. Sure. And he gets his first pow there on the wrestler. Not a break. Elves got to like that a little bit. Oh, Jim, uh, yep, yep, this is a good way to do it because if he sidesteps still on the ball, well, he doesn't even give him the chance. He would have had another hit with tackle there, which is Jim would take all day, any day. Jim fills up the hole, and he takes the block with the uh, ghoul now, and yeah, he can get him off the ball now. Uh, the but cage. yeah, this ball is going to be a little tough to protect this ball from another shot like he had last turn, it, it feels. He has the freed up zombie who's going to go. He's going to get obviously. Okay, I think I see where the ball is going to go. Yep. But the pow on Eldril is really nice because he's got a chance for an armor break to get him uh, out of the play for a game, for a turn at least. Doesn't get it. Yeah, he can kind of form a cage in the top 
and the, just move the ball two squares to the left. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not. He's gonna have to take a one D if he does that. He can't outrun the elves, so it's gonna be a little tricky. Now he could also just sit here, though it's gonna be too easy to get a one D onto the ball. So there's not a lot of good options that for that are totally safe that I see. Sidestep, forcing him to commit players that he would have probably wanted to be using elsewhere. He's doing an awful lot of thinking about this white block. Debating whether he wants to follow. Or maybe he's just buying himself a little extra time to think about where to put the ball. That's, always, that's one yeah. of the little time management tricks you learn. Yeah. <laughs> is you take every 15 second opportunity you <laughs> yep. can. You just, you just take all of them. Let your, let your turn go from being like one minute to, you know, two and a half minutes with thinking time, which is ridiculous, but that's how the game is coded. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a little bit better, Muppet. I, I see what you were saying there. Ooh, don't know if I like the 1D, though. I think he has to take the 1D because it's just now there's no, like, 1D on for uh, minus 2D or any for yeah. 1D or anything like that. So I think you have to do that because otherwise it's but, just a 1D and then Eldril yeah. does, like, a, does a thing and it's just all bad. But, yeah, I mean, still not impossible to get. Well, actually, maybe a little bit a little bit rough to get a 1D because of where that guard is. Yeah, but guards Eldril in the right square now. Eldril can dodge away. Can hypno that. Um, can hypno that zombie, but then you got the mummy over there that you'd have to base as well. But I Eldril think that's what we're going to see. Yeah. Eldril gets yeah, the zombie, the catcher see. runs around, and after yeah. the mummy gets tagged, Ooh. hypno fails. Failing. the kinda, hypno, though. Kind of ruins that plan. Yep. So. Maybe you just take your blocks on this, uh, on this blodge... Uh, on this blodge ghoul over here, see if you can get a ghoul off the pitch. I don't know if that's actually even very helpful for the drive. I'm not sure how helpful it is going to be for defense, but that it's a 1D is also pretty bad. I don't know why he's taking... Maybe he, he probably thought that was a 2DB, but I don't know why you're taking that 1DB. Oh, like, it looks like we were joined by... Oh, no, Flicky joined and then bailed. I don't know if that means Flicky's game is already over. <laughs> Is he back? Hello, Flicky. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I think that was some sort of record. Are your game uh, did not go so well? Thirty minutes, and I was toast. Yeah, Oof. that was about. That's about how mine went too. It was a <laughs> yeah. little bit longer, but not by much. Well, yeah, commiserations. Uh, thanks. But uh, never mind. It was. Uh, it was fun, and now I get to watch some other games. Some people who actually know how to play, and especially play one minute. Yeah, fair enough. Well, no one, as, there's very few people that play in Blitz Pit who are like, my specialty is playing <laughs> playing one minute turns. It's more the people who can kind of adjust and make yeah. it through the game without making too many mistakes yeah, is generally what we see. That's true. So how's Jim doing? Uh, he's off to a pretty rocking start thus far. Good. We had a very unfortunate turn one Blitz by Varkson that was a 1D skull that killed his player and Jim Rez. So he's got an extra bench for the game, a couple KOs after that. Nice. Um, he's looking pretty strong here to score on his drive, but, you know, we've got Eldrill on the pitch. He's always opening it up, uh, up mm. an opportunity for a wrestle blitz on that ball. Don't know if it's going to be enough to stop a score, but, uh, you know, elves are, you know, elves are elves. They could always come back with the one turn and then it's a whole different game in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to kill that Eldril as soon I'll as possible. Admit, I was uh, very surprised Jim was able to turn down the Mummy 3DB on Eldril that was just staring him in the face that could have been followed up into like wrestle and block blocks mm -hmm. on the guy. But he was able to. Looks like he might be going for a gang foul on this leader instead, which is uh, also pretty good for the second half and potentially over time. And, uh, of course, the uh, to, to get Eldril and get this build, the pro-elf team uh, had to sacrifice uh, having an apo. Um, so didn't have an apo for that for that death, doesn't have an apo for the rest of the game. So yeah. pretty much anything going out now is going to stick. Another giant. He's like 200, isn't he? Quite, yeah. You know, he's not a yeah. cheap star on a not-very-cheap team. 
he's not cheap, but he's also pretty worth the cost because he come like he's a pro mm. well, he's like a pro well thumb catcher, right? But oh, he's got and there dogs. goes his leader, and that is a huge Ooh, value foul for Jim. Yeah, I was just about yeah. to say also to get Eldro, he can only have one reroll, and he makes up to, for it with the uh, with the leader. But now that leader's gone. Yeah, that's a big swing as well. Yeah, this is looking really good. Don Eldro, so there's not really a, a an easy cage dive on there's you know a hard dice in but that's not how something he's gonna want to do there's no way to negate the assists i think on all of the on those ghoul on all of the mm. ghouls and stuff the only like reasonable way in is with this um he looks like he's still gonna go for it but i don't think he'll have recovery he's gonna go around tag the white and then he's gonna go in for the no i no, don't no, know why you're basing the school then i thought he'd tag the white and then go in with the guy with dodge Whoops. so one ray roll we're just taking, we can't be taking you minus 2Ds. Why are we taking minus 2D and not a 1D? I don't understand. Okay, we're just blitzing the ghoul to do nothing. Or to you sidestep and get pushed off the ball immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Only one square to fill to get him off the ball this time. Yeah. The blitzer just comes in and knocks you off, like, immediately. This doesn't do anything. And he's got, like, a ghoul and zombies on the left side that he can just run up and join the play now. Yeah. Like, I, I gotta believe Jim is gonna foul Eldril this turn. Assuming everything goes right up top of the screen here. Instantly gets the pow. Like, it was the guy with tackle, too. Like, the, the knockdown yep. wasn't even on my faces. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> tackle is a good skill sometimes. You didn't need it. It just makes you roll pals, but, you know. Who doesn't take the follow-up lock, because, he, yeah, he's definitely fouling Eldril here. He wants yeah. that zombie to be able to come down and foul him. And if Eldril goes out, I mean, that's as close, yeah. to, an, as close to a GG as you want to give. Any elf team at any point, yeah. Yeah. But specifically this elf team that's built to only really function with Eldril supporting it. <laughs> Down a couple players and one of those players, Eldril, is uh, pretty rough. Looks like mummies are going to form the corners here. I don't know if I like being quite so... He might... F mm. He can't... Mm, I would kind of like to be fouling the Blitzer with Blodge, maybe, instead of the, um... Instead of Eldril, but he's gonna go for that, too. So. Ah, I guess he can I, screen... I, I, I want to see Eldril look gone. Oh, and there's the KO, uh, but that Good is enough. gonna lose him his, uh, his zombie. If only he had spares... Oh, wait, he has two more of them. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, he's, he's just fine there. Now, that so, is yeah, a KO. So, yeah, KO is... rolls are gonna just... Yeah. Good. I was gonna say it's a KO, so like seventy five percent of the time he comes back, so it's not quite as good as he wanted. Um he needed he would have needed I don't think even yeah, even with um thirty player it wouldn't have been enough. And there's he's gonna do we're gonna see more cage dives because that's all we've got going for us. Yeah, that's all he's got left right now, so he might as well take him. Tackle is uh, gonna eat the reroll. <laughs> yep. You probably shouldn't re-roll this. No. Probably has a shot. Oh, well, what do I know? <sighs> nah, he's got to save it for the one turn, surely. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's no, got. He, uh, he, he needs a lot stick. of help for the one turn right now. Oh, man. I know Jim already had a player sent off, but I'm still standing on that player's neck, I think. That is his only other player. With It's one of his two or one and a half players with dodge left. Um, yeah. And you're out of re-roll? Like, that's a really good target. Like, yeah, that's his best cage yeah. dive threat, really. Jim and Jim, Jim with 12, man, away. 13, man, build. He came in with 12, but he got a kill and a but rest. he got a kill, yeah. Mummy 3D, nice. Well, <laughs> yeah, now, now you're definitely fouling that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was another one. I mean, this is, this is going not yeah. great. Um, you can get a full uh, four square run up while he's at it. So <laughs> the most important thing. Mhm. Mm yep. Keeping the. Uh... Oh, he's not. Oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's gonna. It's not gonna be a huge. It's not gonna be like a mega foul. Um. Ah, the ghoul's gonna come out. Oh, of the next assist. Okay. Yeah. Cheeky. Here we uh, go. Yeah, he's just checking his bench. He's considering it if he wants to do it or not. 
I think he wants to do it. I think it's, it's the payoff is so large of mm-hmm. getting like the other player with dodge out, yeah. and also just like removing any real chance that the other other team has to do a cage dive without a reroll. Like you need that, and the catchers are so out of position now too. And there's oh, another boy. one off, and that is uh, gonna stick. No, no send off. Where and is calcium that... to guarantee a win when you need them? <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive stuff. I'll be right back, guys. Take a. <laughs> I mean, you. this is. Kind of whoop whoop in chat. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Um, this is this... very over. I don't want to say it, but yeah, I'm glad you said it because yeah, it's. Yeah, I'll take that one on. I'll be wrong. It's fine. I've been wrong before. Yeah, this is um, this is looking done. This is the, I mean, we said it, I think I said it um, in the previous matchup. This is like the terror of Pro Elves. They are very, they are a very powerful team, especially the old role. But then they'll just, uh, they just die. Yeah. Girls explode in games. And this is why mummies and undead are so terrifying for them, because mummies are, are relatively safe, three dice blocks. And then you have um, cheap zombies that can foul, and they can get spares if they get a death, and like... It's a horrible matchup in a lot of yeah, ways. They've, they've just got so much going for them, haven't they, Undead? They're, they're just a fantastic low team value team. Yeah. Just a stun. And in goes the score. Nice, Jim. Very nice. Yeah, Muppet. Yeah, Death Spiral early. Can be a rough one. And now they go into an L. Of course, of course, the one dude who doesn't wake up for the pro well is the most important player left on the team. He needs to get yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, that was part of my downfall. I lost two mummies, both to fouls from Skinks, both KO'd, mm. and neither came back from two rolls in my match, so that was pretty much it. That's, uh. That is pretty infuriating to even hear about. <laughs> yeah. Mummy is they get KO'd by skink fouls that don't come back. Like that's uh yeah, that my... game's going poorly. Yeah, mine was a Tomb Guardian. It was only one, not two, but it was a Tomb Guardian that got fouled out by a skink and didn't come back for uh, um, I'm sure Jim's two gonna KO do it, rolls. but uh something yeah, he should definitely do is he needs to get one of these ghouls off the field and replace it with that sphere zombie. Yeah. So that in case of a thrown rock or some other bullshit. Yeah. So those schools can't get randomly killed. Or, yeah, I guess, if you're worried about a riot, you leave them on, but I think you want to get one of those ghouls off the field in case of a rock and leave the, uh, take yeah. the spare zombie back onto the game. Yeah, just reduce your chances ever so slightly. Yeah. Right, I don't know which one you take bad. off. Maybe the, um, maybe the wrestle ghoul, because you want them for defense, or the sure hands ghoul, in case it goes to OT, you want to guarantee you with the sure hands uh, rolls for your offense. One of those two. How many blockers he got left? Um, I'm seeing two wrestle. I know one blitz. He has away. no block left. He has zero oh, well, block then. left. Even if Eldor comes back, he has no block. Then I probably save the block one and uh, take off a wrestle man and uh, leave the wrestle. By the way, it's, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Just any goal is um, is valuable. Yeah, right, they're gonna, just so um, good. I'm going to take off for the rest of this half and I'll try and come back for his. Uh, is the next match the decider then? Is that is that the big yes. match next one? Yep. Yep. Right, I'll try and get back for that one then. Okay, guys. All right, see you in a bit, Flicky. Who is he slated to play against? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did Sorry. Happen. Yep, throw, throw rock, a rock did didn't happen. happen to Jim, and uh, there goes the one turn. I mean, this if it was is already on. a pretty hard one to do. He His movement aid is, like, in the wrong square, as far as I can tell. Um, I think the movement aid should be where that catcher is, or where that lineman in the center is. Yeah, the movement aid's in the wrong square anyway. Yeah, you um, do the block into the hole, and then you block with the lineman um, to push the catcher, and then you block with the lineman to push the catcher again. I'm not sure how you get the, I think, third one necessary, but, yeah. Doesn't even throw a block. That was interesting. I think uh, Varkson might be done with this game. 
He'll be done with this game. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, I think he's basically just. I only lost saw two. <laughs> I think I think I only even I only saw two pushes there anyway. I don't think I saw a third push that was available. Maybe I just wasn't missing it, but maybe there's one guy that's not engaged that you can use. But I think he needed a handoff and like a shallow kick to get it done. I don't think it was possible to pass. So I'm, I'm not even sure a one turn was possible with that setup. So throw a rock, be damned. And now Odril fails to wake up, so um, 75% uh, fails 100% of the time. Rip. Yeah, so they have two. So what's left on the Pro Elves is a um, is five linemen with no meaningful skills. None of them have any skills that help the offense. And uh, two catchers. That's what you got. So you have no defensive skills other than uh, wrestle. And a bunch of armor value seven guys, and no one has dodge. Or sure hands or pass. So, um... And you have one reroll, and if you tie, you're going to go to OT. And, but hey, the team won kicks last time, but last time they also had more players against Dwarf somehow. So, yeah, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a fast second half, I think. I guess you try for a quick score, and then hope Eldro comes back, and then you just do Kate and you just do cage dives for like eight straight turns. I don't, I don't really know what to do here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think I think you just gotta like one D your way through that zombie, cage up, <laughs> and then try and score the next turn. Yeah, this is almost right. a point where Jim should just be trying to stop a two turn score just to force him into a longer drive by putting his zombies on the outside edge. Just be like, no, 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 no quick scores. You go through zombies on the outside. There is no. You go through mummies on the outside or all of the ghouls in the center. Like, there is no easy way through. I, I kind of like that, actually. That that wouldn't be the worst worst thing in the world. So I don't know if he, at this point, had the players where he was... Because I think if he commits the LOS blocks to hit the zombies, you're just like, well, that's cool. I mean, I'm just going to win the drive now. Because all your, you're all clustered in the center. I just collapse on you. Yeah. But um, that's a two-turn defense I like. And I can see why Jim's just fine. He feels like he's got enough advantage. He doesn't need to commit that hard to a two turn, and like what potentially I just do, have to bum me out of the game. What I wouldn't do right now is uh, blitz a uh, blodge ghoul that doesn't open a hole for me to quick score. Yeah, that seems like a waste of time. <laughs> cool. Uh, cool. You push the ghoul back and. Um, the undead are actually a sneakily fast team that can very easily just... I mean, yeah. they're down a ghoul because they've got their sure hands ghoul off the field, so they can't really counter... They can't reliably counter score. Also, they got the... Pro Elf's got a very cheeky um, free reroll, which is really important for them. Um, but... Man. I mean, hey, at least he made it a 2D blitz this <laughs> time. Yeah, that's just a blitz bit thing. That's gonna happen. Those random one Ds you do. I, I think we've. Yeah. I mean, I've done. We've all done random one Ds with like two minutes or. Three I mean, minutes, let alone. I mean, one. again, I'm speaking. In, I lost my game because I dodged a tomb guardian. So I. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not one to talk here. I'm just saying, that one. That one seemed like it was well thought out for some reason, and mm -hmm. it was very strange. I don't know what Jim's plan this turn is going to be. Yeah, I mean, Jim Jim generally doesn't love that, to push the ball uh, deep. Questionable? What? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's just trying to stay okay, out of the so range of the... the yeah, he's trying to stay okay. out of the range so of the I ghouls. The... Yeah, that's... Mm, I kind of... I don't know if I like doing a GFI to do that, because you can't re-roll, because you're down re-rolls, and like... Yeah, that's just, that's just one of those things. We all do it, or you, you just move, and then you forget to count the squares afterwards, because he's so low yeah. on time, you kind of got to do the actions to save yourself the seconds, so... But not great. Oh, there's Jim's. Oh, instant double skull reroll. Adam uh, hit for extra blocks anyway. Gets the KO. Probably doesn't mind losing the reroll because of that. Probably doesn't hate it. He's probably not happy to be to have lost his reroll advantage already. No. Um, probably is wishing he had um played his turn in a way that he could have eaten that reroll. Maybe have blitz with the white, who's a lot less spooky to like just kill themselves. Every turn, every time they take an armor yeah. roll, the way ghouls yep. are. Um, Jim's not up 2-0, he's only up 1-0, so the game's still, like, as lopsided as it looks, as lopsided as it is, you know, it's not, like, it's not a, uh, 
even if the Elves score, Jim just sits on the ball. Jim will have to score if he gets the ball back this this half. Yep. And Eldril is every you know Eldril still can come back. So Jim does want to probably prevent us. He, Jim would much rather win this game 1-0 than risk winning it 2-1. It's going to be easier to win it 1-0 probably. Oh, 100%. Yeah, Jim wants to win this in regular time right now um, and not risk. Oh, I'm not even saying or, um, 200. Yeah, I, I, know, I know what you mean. This yeah, drive. I, I he wants, this, he wants yeah. this to be yeah. the last drive of the game, yeah. yeah. No more drives after this. Yeah. Or if he can just flip them and if he can flip them over and score, he will. Yeah, yeah. Up two nothing. Yeah, a two zero win. win is obviously great, but I think a one zero is preferable to a two one right now. It's just probably gonna be easier. Where's this blitz coming? We are we are gonna do we're gonna oh boy. Another one D skull. That's a pretty unfortunate. Hi, he chooses to re roll it. So now I guess probably we're going for to. the uh Yep. Looks like we're gonna this... go potato with the ball. Again. Are all his catchers off the pitch? No, he's got one over there. Okay, the one over there that's based. Yeah, it looks you know, like we're I don't know why in. he didn't. You know, Reddit tells me that a nerves of steel means that this catcher on the right is still a good scoring threat, even though he's based by three people. I don't know why Jim is why he isn't just getting past to him. Oh, because probably because you know if you're based by three people, you have no supporting player, so you're a terrible target. But. Whatever. Oh, you you should uh you should flip and watch from Jim's point of view because everyone we're commentating to is. But yeah, I, I know what you mean. The nerves of steel on the left. Yeah. 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 Mm. Or did you mean the one on the right? I I mean, I mean theoretically both, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a pass oh. that could have gone terribly wrong. <laughs> that was that was interesting. That was a one in six to lose the game, um, yep, but I mean, the, sure but, was. Uh, that's kind of where we're at if you're this pro elf team. Yeah. So, I mean, this seems like a really nice target to get and be able to slam more players in onto this uh, lineman and like base a bunch of dudes. So, and also like a million dice on this uh, pro elf catcher with Russell. So. Jim doing safe moves first because I don't think he wants to reroll double skulls this turn if he can avoid it. That uh, the catcher on the left there was he on the ground or was he standing? Nope. I thought he was standing. He, he was just standing didn't up. move him. He just didn't move him at all. Well, yeah. hey, Russell, Russell paying off if he uh, if he unless he wants to risk it here, I probably guess I'd yeah, risk he just it didn't right move now. him at all. Yep, yeah. he just did not move that catcher at all. He didn't wrestle him. Yeah, that was the right call. That was the right call by Varkson, though, because now he can basically not score, but he can uh, get that ball real close to the end zone and pray. I mean, hell, he could actually sideline Cage here if he really wanted to. I don't think I would want to, but... Huh. Not sure I would have dodged that guy out first. I kind of would have liked standing up the zombie on the sideline that's being based by the lineman. Because even though it risks giving up a surf, I think giving up that action is like way worse for the pro elves than giving up the player for a turn. The next right. couple of turns. Also, I would like to have blitzed him with um, the block ghoul or the tech, so. Yeah, so this ghoul, well, I mean, not. All things considered, this couldn't, this isn't the worst thing Varkson could be doing for himself right now. That 3D fail kind of sucked for Jim. The real question is, uh, can these elves bleed some clock off and make this a bit of a game if, uh, if Jim has to like two or three turn, assuming Eldril comes back. Yeah, Eldril's gonna make it. If he Eldril comes back to the game, he makes it all pretty, pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I think Jim's going to go for a... I mean, the thing is, like, every time 
falls base, it's like a one in thirty six to lose, which is not which is nothing, but also with OT it's kind of spooky. So sure, absolutely. It's really it's more like a one in six to eat a reroll, which is what you're going for that. Six so left. I can see facing the ball here being a thing. When usually it's it's not. And that is what he's doing here. Is he gonna base up this uh this other guy? He is. Where's this wrestler going? He's gonna go right in front. Yeah, yeah. Good positioning there. Yeah, I think all he can do here is uh dodge double GFI and score. I think I think you kinda have to take it at this point. Assuming you don't use your reroll on the dodge. I wonder if the Russell Ghoul could have been one square over to the right, and it actually might have been a bit trickier to score. Because obviously the guy... I was, that's actually... It, yeah. Yeah. That's I know what why I was he's thinking not too. there, but I think that might be the better square. Because um, the guy can dodge out, but then the catcher with the Russell is still kind yeah. of SOL. Yeah, so I think he, I think he's got to consider either the three plus two plus two plus score and just pray, or I'm oh, sorry, the two plus two plus two plus. Looks like he's gonna blitz and uh, roll a one and nine, or roll a one. And, so that's a, <sighs> didn't didn't love that. And you have this to reroll this. Well, yeah, you have to reroll this. Otherwise, you lose. Um, yeah. Well, and you lose. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that one D there. I would have rather if I wasn't if I was gonna try and stall it, I'd rather that guy dodge away, get down as close to the end zone as I can, and then try and make those three pluses to get yeah. those two other guys there to screen. And if they fail, at least the ball's still down there, and you got to knock them down. Mm -hmm. And even if you knock them down, you, you don't pick it up. They also just pick it up. Yeah, if you don't break over. armor, like it just gives yeah. you so many more options. But now the game is just over. Also, barring, now barring like, ridiculous dice. players are going to get served off the field um, yep. pretty safely by Jim. He can do it without committing too much, which is uh, always what you want. And it looks like he can get his tackle onto the ball, which isn't actually meaningful here, but he can clear everyone away from the guys with the ball. He can get it onto a blodger, which is pretty great. So we'll see how Jim goes about protecting the ball from this point forward. Uh, looks like J5 fell to Fufile, unfortunately. Um, it looks like Casper has won his second round. Yakiste has uh, has beaten Dimmy G. Arzawain has won again. Oh, good. Yeah, and I know. Jim removes another player. I mean, this is what Jim's saying he wanted to play Elvis for, because he has a chance where he just smashes them off the field, and Jim has just smashed them off the field. It looks like he can kind of form a cage as well. Um, over on the left. I don't know. Yeah, looks like he can kind of do it. Uh, oh yeah, my J5, god. J5 did not have a good game against the uh, against the Lizards from the sound of it in SFL chat. All right. So, he's all right, Rick Rothos, what do you got? Well, the Pro Elves have a um 2 plus 5 plus uh, minus 2 dice minus 2 to be on the ball and then like a, a 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus or 2 plus uh, recovery and then um I don't know what they do uh, from from there. <laughs> but uh, it sure I think is I think the, the answer here is to just pass turn, <laughs> and they have uh and they have no re rolls. Well, I mean, there's no point in pass the turn. You might as well if you unless you just want to like have it just beat to the end. Yeah, let's. Yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, fair enough. You do all that, 
All that to oh one day. That would have been a fun powder roll, actually. <laughs> Blocks a good skill. Um yep. and now the ghoul just runs away. Braves or Robin runs away. I don't even think anyone can get to him now. He cannot be based by any player at this point. So no. he scores next turn walking it in. Yep. Something, something, something just past turn. <laughs> For example. Yes, it is impossible for the uh, any of the pro elves to uh, yeah. even base them. I guess I don't know. You could do a chain push or something, maybe to get to our lands where you can uh, you can base him. But uh, great, cool. I, I know, honestly, Jimmy doesn't even. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't even need to really run this in because he's not gonna. Yeah. I don't think he'll have. He could just go over there and just sit there and end the game. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean anything, especially if he removes someone with a foul here, which it looks like he's gonna try and do. I mean, you might as well at this point. Of course, um, just, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Go for the pitch clear, always. Yeah. <laughs> wow, his fouling has been violent. Wow. It's, this uh, game is just all going Jim's way. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's the pass turn, and this one is officially over in my books. I don't know what Jim's doing moving anyone but that goal right now. Fufale did yeah. this to me. I had to pass turns for the last, like, three, four turns. And it was like, I couldn't get to the ball. He was already up one nothing, And then he scored on turn 15. And I'm like, why? Why make me set up everything? Just like, come on, man. Jim scores to establish dominance. Yeah. Yep. Well, that I agree with. You know, the, the turn 16, put it in for the 2 nothing win. Might as well. Mm-hmm. There's no chance that uh, tiebreakers come into it, but hey, whatever. Congratulations, Jim. Commiserations, Markson. Eldrill Sidewinder, your MVP of the game. I Glorious. disagree with that. What a game, Jim. Tell us, talk us through your feelings. Oh, I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy with that initial 1 DB in the dead. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? I don't know. It was incredible. It was like the dream start, wasn't it? It was pretty amazing because it basically just, you're like, oh, so Jim can just foul now for like the entire half. Yeah, he just, yeah. He gives Jim permission to just foul all he wants. Oh, how good could his fouls be? Oh, they'll remove like three players. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not only did oh, it so remove a blood step. Players. <laughs> not only did it remove like his literally his best player. Well, maybe his, uh, Eldrill's his best player. One of his best three players, undoubtedly, is removed. <laughs> gives us a nice reserve so we're going to foul all the time and then, uh,. I think the fouls mm. removed his other blodge jumper and Eldrill as well. Yeah, so, did um, you? Yeah, Eldrill stayed yeah, when, the whole game. When's the last time you fouled that well, Jim? Jesus. Oh, God, never, probably. That was unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. No DP either. Just ridiculous, ridiculous luck. Just Beautiful. roll block scars. Ogre strats. <laughs> I mean, there are brawl really hard or whatever the snappy one-liner is for ogre strats that isn't um roll, <laughs> roll, roll box cars that's your ogre strategy roll yeah. box cars win half the time if you yeah. kill the entire team you might win yeah yeah if that's you do the it thing, fast enough otherwise you'll probably still draw or lose that is the thing in undead not only are they one of the best teams they've also got that strategy of if they roll well you are completely uh up shit creek <laughs> Well, Jim, it looks like you already have a result for who your opponent is going to be. I'm loading it up. They're still playing. All right. Um, but it's a 2 nothing in the favor of... Come on, game. Uh, Roosie's Wood Elves. You got Wood Elves for the final. Woodies, oh dear. Right, okay. Well, I'll wrap up the YouTube video. Thank you very much. Gorilla Mezzo and Squirrel Dude, thank you very much for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.